Hi, in this video, we will see the life cycle of temp data variable. That means what we saw, we were passing temp data from one action to another action or from one action to the view of another action. Now, what if I want to carry this data from this view to some other action? Say I am on this view and I would like to go to some other action. I will just add HTML action link and here I will say go to test. Uh, link name and the action is say test and the controller home could be home controller or any other controller so I need action test so I'll just copy this paste it here name it as test and I'll try to access temp data here that means I'll just put the same code and comment this and this save so I'll try to put breakpoints And let's see how it works. So I'm on index that is initial load. I'll say five. As this will be null, it is going to skip this. I'll say five. I should get the form. I'll just try to insert some department. Good and HOD is very good say submit uh, as usual it is going to insert the record and store the message in temp data and it should go back to index so it is back on index then it should read from temp data the message so temp data is not null it has uh, read the message say 5 back on the view now I read the message temp data in the single post back I'll make another post back I'll click on go to test back on the test now I'm trying to read temp data, say F10, say F10, it has skipped that part, means what, if I right click, say quick watch, temp data is none, it means that temp data is available in a single cycle. The life cycle of temp data is a single round trip to the server. That means once I read temp data from action or index, it gets cleared. I cannot read it in another action. The temp data is available for a single request. Now if I want to keep the data and use it in another request, the default feature of temp data is it clears. It clears the variable or all the collections, whatever we have in temp data. Now, what I want as I'm reading here, I don't want that variable to be cleared. So, what is that I can do? I'll say that after reading the value of temp data 
I want to maintain that value for next post back or next request. So I'll say temp data dot keep. If I say temp data dot keep, all the items of the collection temp data will be available in the next request. Or if I say keep a particular variable or a particular item that is msg now temp data is available in our next request let us see that as a 5 say a 5 submit five then I'll say five so it should read the variable here and it will keep this for next action say five now I'll say go to test F10 it should enter into the block yes you can see that data is available here the record inserted now I'll just try to comment it out and I'll execute this F5 insert some junk data then I'm storing the message say F5 after inserting it should take me to the index now if you observe this view I'm not reading the temp data I'm neither reading the temp data and I'm not not saying that you know keep the value I'll say 5 now I'll say go to test say F10 that value is available that means value is available for next reading so if I store the value in temp data and if I want to read that as soon as I read it the variable gets cleared now if I do not read it and if I go to another action then the value will be available there even if I do not read it in this action and if I say redirect to some other action it will be available there so temp data does not get cleared unless and until we read it one point and the second point is if you don't want the temp data to be cleared after reading it then simply say keep so that's it this is all about temp data variables thank you very much